Welcome, Pisces, to September 2018 general love reading. Please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading is not going to resonate with all of you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me on Instant Go or my personal website. And that's listed below this video for your convenience. The links are listed below this video for your convenience. <laughs> Okay, Pisces, so I feel uh, this might be coming in uh, the beginning of September. Uh, it might be some uh, energy uh, that's moved from August into September. I feel like you're disappointed about something. Someone hasn't been totally honest with you, but you are going to make peace with this. This can involve an, an Aquarius. It can also involve an Earth sign or an Air sign. I do feel like the air needs to be cleared. There are decisions that you definitely need to make in regards to money, regards to work, business. Okay, there is a transformation here. All right, now the transformation that I feel is something needs to go. Something needs to go from the past. It's not serving your higher purpose anymore. The moon card here, you're facing deception. So when you're making this transformation, don't make this transformation over somebody else. Make it for you only. And uh, I feel like some of you were forced to uh, end something and to begin new but you're facing you know just kind of uh, some very sneaky energy okay and especially we've got the seven of swords here we've got the moon card and then we've got the five of cups here so it's not just about money it's not just about work I feel like this message comes into you um, that is going to disappoint you perhaps there may even be an argument or a disagreement or you're not understanding why this person's in and out of your life or why they just even took off okay scorpio could be involved in this too and i feel like there might be actually a trust issue with a scorpio um so moving along here i i do feel like you have the opportunity to clear this air it's going to be difficult but peace is going to happen eventually or you're just going to surrender and say that's it and when you do surrender when you do come to that peaceful moment you're taking off you're actually moving forward on something that's more uh, beneficial for you um, here though you I, I still feel like you're on guard when I look at the the ten I'm, I'm sorry the nine of wands I feel like this completion needs to happen okay here you are Pisces right next to it and we've got the king of cups which represents a water sign so Scorpio and other Pisces um, or cancer uh, I like to look at the king of cups as my cancer card but I feel here you're you're being defensive you're defending yourself over somebody I feel who's quite flattering perhaps they flattered you or perhaps um, uh, they were flattering others uh, or they may have made promises to you I do feel like there is an opportunity here but some of you still I feel disappointed with this opportunity I feel like the stress maybe you're changing departments at work or maybe you were forced to change uh, roles or change um, a department um, and I feel like here with this king of cups um, I, I feel like the King of Cups is going to take you out of this situation. And this could be female or male, or it could just be the law of attraction. Being conscious about what it is um, that actually put you in this position. Now, some of you here, you know, looking at the cards again, because I like to do always a double review here. Um, again, when I look at the Five of Cups, I'm just going to bring it over here so we can study this together. Uh, you're disappointed over love because cups represent love or you're disappointed over something you love to do perhaps some of you are looking for a career change because you are just stifled or bored or just you know frustrated in the position that you're in and when I take this card and I go around I go to the seven of swords some of you might be in a position at work where there's gossip or somebody's stealing something or somebody is just you know really conniving like two-faced <coughs> excuse me not really showing their true self just kind of uh, being this sneaky fake person because um, of course that wouldn't be their true self okay and I also when I come here I feel like that um, this is about promises that haven't been kept 
I, I feel like somebody's walked away from you or you've just been in dispute. When I look at the Page of Swords, I just feel like you're going to come out swinging here. That you're just going to figure out what the problem is because the mess is just coming through with the Knight of Pentacles. And again, I feel strongly that this has something to do with Aquarius, but I also feel that you're going to be successful in nailing this and knowing exactly where this is coming from and how you're going to deal with it. Now with the Two of Swords, it's telling me, okay, the communication, uh, the emotions, uh, uh, that all needs to be cleared. There's definitely, uh, and that's why I say some of this might be work-related also, is there's definitely a decision in regards to money okay money like okay should I just stick this out or should I change jobs should I get my resume out there should I just ask to be transferred um, or should I just quit uh, also with the two of Pentacles too this may have something to do with someone you're involved with could be a Scorpio again the Aquarius air earth um, because it's in your car also water uh, to where you have to make a decision on whether or not you can move from your significant others or maybe your significant other has moved from you uh, and now it's caused a financial burden there's definitely a lot of deception definitely deception this is not something that's a uh, fake or temporary this is something that's been going on for a while okay but besides looking at scorpio here with the death card i do feel that you are able to move on if you transform and begin new beginnings without having a strong chip on your shoulder. I know it's going to be hard for some of you who feel betrayed to kind of move forward without thinking back about um, how you were deceived, but you can clear that Akashic record. You can clear that Akashic file. Okay, new beginnings here, but again, okay, there's here's where you have to be careful. I get the Ace of Swords, you know, where clear communication can happen either with you or with somebody else or just moving forward in on your path but here with the seven of swords is okay don't don't try to defend yourself or lie to yourself or even lie to another just try to get into this um you know kind of move away uh get into um a positive thinking you know get into positive thinking because you got the ace of wands here next to it get into positive thinking get into peace meditate more okay release this that you need to release it no longer serves you it's been nothing but misery for you okay now for other of you Pisces you're probably not maybe you're just moving out of some obstacles some hiccups that you've experienced I do feel like success is coming to a lot of you but it's gonna take work because there's been some things, obstacles, or hiccups along your path that really need to be cleared out. You can do it by leaving it behind and changing your perception, changing your thoughts to something that's more, that vibrates better, that has more positive energy into it. Because I'm really feeling like the Knight of Pentacles is saying, hey, get grounded, you know, get positive, you know, get, get with good thoughts, okay, because that's going to transform with you. Uh, all right, so okay, let's look at some love cards. I've already shuffled them. So we've got new love here True love Woo -hoo. We've got the religious factor Getting to know each other. So here. Let me just read this first row here There's opportunity Pisces for new love. There's also opportunity to grow this new love Some of you may have already met someone this person could live at a distance um, maybe you have to travel to them. Uh, you feel like this person is your soulmate, your mate, your twin flame. Uh, definitely, I agree because true love is there. And um, like the religious fact, there, there might be some things to iron out with this person. Uh, or it might be yours. Okay, you might have a belief from the past that is a religious or spiritual belief or how you were uh, you know brought up you might be looking at this person like okay can i live this love with this person because this person might be a different culture than you but the cards are really good about getting to know each other and i feel like that's more important about knowing each other of course it is important about the spiritual and the religious factors and also the culture factors but the way it's flowing here i really feel like it's got a chance to uh, survive so we've got worth waiting for express your love retreat 
and codependency. Okay, for some of you, you might be in a relationship with your significant other who uh, may be have gone away to a rehabilitation center, or you might be advising this, or therapy might start. I really feel like there's addictions. It could be sex, it could be finances, it could be also um, drugs or alcohol or any type of addictive form that is affecting this relationship. Okay, uh, your 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 worth. Okay, in other words, you feel this is worth waiting for, but at the same time, you're questioning it on whether it's really going to work. Uh, there's a part of you I feel that's detaching. I do recommend programs. There's programs out there that are free that will help you to detach from the addicted, uh, the the addicts, um, you know, situation, personality, etc. Okay, don't try to do this all by yourself. Okay, I really feel like you've expressed your love. I feel like this is also someone who's got an emotional issue, okay, and there has been so much on and off going on. This could have something related to what I saw on the card in regards to deception, lying, cheating, okay. You're just moving away from it, but you don't want to move away from it. You really want to give it a chance, Okay, so you're not responsible for this person's doing. However, your heart was involved in it. And so no matter how much you express yourself, I think right now this, this codependency issue is kind of blinding everything. So this I feel that needs to be clear. Let me take a look at the bottom card. It's about loving yourself first, okay? It's not about giving this person all the, your energy, all your power anymore. It's about loving yourself, coming back to yourself, respecting yourself, knowing that, uh, you know, releasing guilt, releasing pain. That's what your month here uh, is about in regards to, for some of you, in regards to love. For other of you, you're exploring new love, true love, twin flame, soulmate. doesn't matter what the label is. Um, so for some of you, it could be, again, um, somebody who's a different culture, may live far away, it could be a long distance relationship, they could have different um, beliefs, uh, religious and spiritually than you do. Um, also, uh, they may also have just a different belief in general of how a relationship should be. But here is the bonding card. This is saying, get to know this person, see what they're about, L give them a chance to get to know you, bond that way not so much about you know the intimacy alone okay lots of love to you pisces i wish you a great month in september much love and blessings